Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I'm gonna be I'm gonna be showing you all the brand new leaks and rumors about the new M1X MacBook Pros and the new and the and the upcoming higher end iMacs. So these are rumors by Mac Rumors and from a Twitter user by by the name of Dylan TK. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the brand new leaks and rumors. Okay, so starting off with the new M1X um, rumors is Apple's new higher end bigger screen uh, iMac is supposed to launch in 2022. So not this year at the end of this year like we were expecting. But next year, and and there's a reason for that. Twitter Twitter um, leaker by the name of Dylan TK says that Apple simply does not want their devices to compete for competition. So um, let's say iPhone comes out, then iPhone 13 comes out. Of course, people are gonna like leave the iPhone 12 and go directly to iPhone 13, or like on the on the new iMacs. Um, this one just came out, and they're just gonna release a new one in like a month. It'll draw all the attention from that iMac to that one. So it doesn't make much sense, and they don't want their devices competing for attention. They don't want like devices in a year over year transition. So I guess that kind of makes sense, I guess. But yeah, so we're not gonna see them probably this year. If we do, that'll be kind of a shocker. But hey, I mean, it's Apple; they can do whatever, whatever they get. So you never know. So um, the rumored M1X processor is supposed to appear on the new uh, on the M1X Mac Pros, the higher end ones, and and now with the with this new Mac. It, it's supposed to come out with that one, so it looks pretty promising in that regard. Um, and for the higher end MacBooks, they're supposed to release in November or September ish, but I actually think they'll release probably like in January, um, December, just because Apple doesn't really do for their Macs one year transition. They, uh, with the iPad Pro, they did release it in March, and what they did this year, they released it in about early, um, late April. That's like one month later, um, one year and one month later than what they did with um an iPhone. So I'm pretty sure they're going to release it probably in December, late September, probably like September 20th, and the holidays, somewhere into that. Because um, people are shopping for stuff, and I guess it's, it's the holiday season, so they're probably going to shop for lots of stuff. So I'm pretty sure that's relevant, and also says possibly December or November, but I think it's probably going to be December. I think that the new Mac will grow to release in late December, so that's my opinion. Possibly not. We'll just have to see and wait what the future holds, but I think that's the most relevant recent right now. Okay. So Apple paused their work on the iMac Pro on on for um the twenty four inch iMac. So um so like on the it's like the new iMac they released they they focused all their work into that machine because they wanted that to come out to come out first and then the new MacBook Pros. So they have that so they released that one and they paused their work on the iMac and they focusing on making their chips better on the M one X and um mass producing them and. And and it's supposed to launch in the and the iMac that released launched in the April event. So they're mass producing their chips. So um, even though there's a global chip shortage, Apple has lots of companies that will that they pay them good money and they'll just do whatever they want. Cause it's um they just want to make money. So um the new higher end iMac will have a better design, hopefully a smaller chin, um uh, or no chin at all, which is better. And I'll actually take a little bit extra thickness for the chin, um, because I don't want that huge chin. It looks ugly. Um, but I'll actually take a little bit extra thickness, um, like maybe make it like, I don't know, twice as thick, I don't know, and just remove the chin or, or like, and make it still a little thin as a headphone jack, but, um, um, but at least just take away the chin. I don't like the chin and probably make it even a 6k or even 5k display to for the pros. So that'd be pretty cool. Um, and more pro color. So I'm thinking a matte black or a space gray, that'd be pretty cool. And a silver, at least those two colors will be really good. And I would like to see the uh, I would like to have, I would like for my iMac Pro to have no chin at all. A little bit of extra uh, thickness won't really hurt that much, right? It's uh, um once you put like a like a TV on on your desk, um so uh you don't really look at the thickness. Um once in a while, yes you do look and it's like oh it's kind of thick and you don't want that, but that's once in like a month and a week, so it's not that bad. So um so yeah, make it a little bit thicker, please, and it's still, it'll probably be so ridiculously thin, maybe. At least as thick as this MacBook, which is um so maybe make it a little bit thicker, more thicker, please at least, so that just take away the chin, cause I don't really like the chin that much. I hate it. Um, I I had an iMac, um, and we were and I've had an iMac, well my dad has, and he had lots of iMacs, and so um since like since like that iMac T four, um, and so that chin looks kind of bad. Um, but when you're not when you're just an everyday consumer, you buy you you buy the iMac, and it doesn't seem that bad. But once you but once you get into tech and you see how bad the chin is. You realize that it's kind of a bad mistake, and why did Apple do that? So, yeah. So, uh, hopefully, to take away the chin, that would be pretty cool. And for new iPhone rumors, there's rumors Apple is mass producing them from 75 million iPhones on um, the iPhone 12 to 90 million iPhones 
um, mass producing them. So hopefully that means 100 hertz is coming. Apple has to put out some like key feature that will that that they incremented their um their iPhone their their for 15 million iPhones. That's a lot. That's like I don't know, 15 million people. That's pretty cool. And hopefully they can have 120 hertz um ProMotion displays. Um, maybe maybe have 90 hertz on the iPhone 12, 13, 12s, 12s mini, whatever it ends up being called. Hopefully they can add that or 90 hertz and maybe just 60 hertz on the iPhone 12 mini or 13s, 13 mini. Um, just because it's a sm it's a smaller phone, it's smaller than I don't know this than an iPad. It's, it's really small, and the battery life would really take a hit. So I'm I'm hoping that they can probably add a 60 hertz display for the 13 mini, 90 hertz for the regular 12 um, 13, and 120 hertz for the 13 Pro and Pro Max. That would be really ideal, and so hopefully that can that can um be made. Hopefully that'll be really cool. Hopefully if, that, if that's made. Um, I'm really hoping that can be, and 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 I think maybe they'll have bigger, better cameras. It's rumored they'll have better cameras. And if you look at the, the mock-ups, the 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 sign is kind of like square, so it's um it's diagonal, kind of like um some some phones, like Android phones, I guess. Um, and I I think and that's rumored to be for the sensor stabilization, which the iPhone 12 Pro Max got last year. So I mean, it's a bigger sensor, lower aperture, which is always great for letting low for letting for more light into the sensor. And then and so and so that means like when you're like it, the sensor actually moves inside the camera. So um that is really cool. Hopefully they can have that on all models. Um and lighter is looking that's just gonna be on the higher end pro models, not the mini or the twelve. Kind of sad because lighter is kind of cool, but hopefully they can add that and no telephoto. Um so yeah that's just a dual setup and hopefully smaller notch. I kind of want a smaller notch piece. Um that'd be really cool if we can have a smaller notch maybe. Make it um maybe have the maybe make it like the volume make it a little bit shrink it or maybe just do like make it smaller just don't make it like the Pixel three three XL notch that's just that looks really bad um but but yeah hopefully we can have a top notch iPhone next year um hopefully it'll have bigger battery um better specs a fifteen ninety hertz one hundred twenty hertz depends on what you get and stuff like that and hopefully even one terabyte of storage because there's lots of people who take lots of photos on their iPhones and they keep them for four years like my mom. And um, they don't they don't really buy it, and they need that much storage, and so hopefully Apple can can provide them with that much storage. That'd be really cool. Um, but yeah, that's about it. And yes, where my my dad's painting this room. That's why it looks kind of messy. Um, and I got my bottom braces too. Uh, yeah, plus a plus a retainer, which I took out because I can't speak well with a um with a with a retainer on. So I sound really funny. So I took it off. But yeah, that's about it. And and yeah, we're remodeling this room. I'm gonna get a better microphone than this one, so I'm gonna get a a Movo VXR10 microphone. So it's gonna be coming up in a week, so that's really cool. I'm um, hoping to have better microphone quality, and I'm gonna be doing more leak videos since my grandparents are away and I don't have a good phone to well, that's 4K to film with. So I'm just stuck with an iPad. So I'm, I'm gonna be making more leak videos on this and everyday stuff. So yeah, that's how the situation we're in. But yeah, hope you, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.